بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم باقي لنا 10 دقائق فقط we have only 10 minutes to complete the program i have two points to make without further explanation the first one i ask you all please listen i ask you all imagine that we have a classroom there are 30 students one of them is the most brilliant one focused on the subject knows every single issue about the module he's got a star or a double star then there are students who were lazy who did not work hard who did not meet their obligations in the classroom and now the person in charge of running the school comes to say, see, all of you are nothing. Ignore about this first degree of the person, A star or A double star. He is nobody, and I appoint the most ignorant student in the school to be your master, to be your teacher, to be my deputy. What do you think about this? Is it justice or injustice? Tell me. Justice or not? Okay. Is it fair or not? So, someone who is not, less knowledgeable gives preference over the one who is the most well acquainted about the subject. What do you think about this? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam tens of times in authentic hadith that is narrated not only by Shia ulama by Sunni ulama throughout the history that he said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam remember this he said I am the city of knowledge and Ali is the gate to that city whoever wants to learn anything about Islam, about Quran, about Islamic studies, let them come from the path of Ali. Now, Imam Ali السلام, upon this was appointed and when he more merits was appointed to be the wali, the master, the one with full authority over the Muslim nation on the 18th of the Hijjah, 18th of the Hijjah, year 10 after Hijrah, after returning from the farewell pilgrimage, approximately three months before his departure to the eternal life. So, when the Prophet وسلم, took allegiance from every Muslim to admit and to confess that everybody came to and you heard Haj Nazar al-Qadari to say it in different ways and I'm sure that you listened to previous speakers to do that. So, when this was a reality, this was a fact, after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam closed his eyes, what happened? They brought the most ignorant, I'm not going to name, the one who is not qualified, he had no depth in knowing even simple ayat of the Quran. And this is proven. It is not what I claim. And forgot about Ali. Ignored Ali. Do you know why? Do you know what was, what was their justification? Their excuse? They said he was a young one. Whilst there were many elderly in the community. And... The Imam answered one very short answer, said that if this is the case, who set as successor to the Prophet وسلم, his father is older than him. So is the age matters, so he should be why his son became. Then it's proven in every community that the energy, the Ikhlas, the sincerity, the
devotion of youth is more effective than those who are weak and elderly. So it is not excuse. There's one pion. The second point that you all, you all enjoyed the anashid and the celebrations and everything about the praise of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Is that sufficient or we need something more? We need to learn how did Ali live? We learn to see how did Ali dealt with the problems of life, with everything in society, in family, in the whole country, with others, with enemies, and what he was doing to become a role model, to become a lesson for us to learn. So, I don't say that it is not important. Even you showed maximum of joy when Al-Hajj Nazar Qadari was reciting and you have done before. But what we need really to think today and let's pay allegiance to Ali alayhi salam just this moment that, oh Ali, we love you, but we love you only as a step to follow you, to learn from you, to take every lesson about Islam from you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.